What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at the Fell Winter's Lie quest. This has gone live today inside Destiny 2. So in this video today, we're going to take a look at each and every step that we know so far and what we need to do in order to complete them. So if you want to get ahead of the game and get this weapon as soon as possible, then be sure to stick around and enjoy the video. Now if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, upon today's daily reset, we got the first step of the Fell Winter's Lie quest. Now, this came in the form of an in-game notification informing us that we need to go visit Anna Bray over on Mars. And once arriving, we find out that Rasputin wants a close look at how Guardians work and to help him set up a network of defences. Now, to do this, we need to complete Serif Tower public events as a community on three destinations. And these are the European Dead Zone, the Moon and Io. Now it is possible to add a tracker to the quest itself so you can keep tabs on the progress that the community is making. Now a few things to note is that each destination requires 3 million points. Now that is not 3 million completions as the game is counting guardians, not event completions. So a fire team of 3 who can successfully complete the event will count as 3 towards the completions. 1% in our progress is roughly 30,000 public event completions. And these will update every 15 minutes via the in-game tracker if you track the quest itself. So that's the very first step of this quest. It's probably the longest step in this entire quest. So it's going to take a day or two at least before we get on to the next step. Now for the next step, it's simply to return to Anna for an update. And once there, she'll send us to Vostok where we need to investigate some energy signatures at the coordinates that Rasputin has sent to us. Now, once we've successfully scanned all the coordinates that have been provided, we'll now need to secure shotgun kills across the system or in the crucible to progress the next step. Now, the total number of kills that you're going to need for this one is 1000 shotgun kills in order to progress this step. Now, I think to bear in mind with this step is crucible kills normally count towards greater progress, but we'll find out more once we reach that point. So once you complete the shotgun telemetry, that'll move you on to the lunar trip. Now with this one, Rasputin has been monitoring our progress and has requested our presence at the lunar service bunker. And this will take us into the secret room that we've all been waiting to get into since we discovered it earlier this season. And once there, we'll need to investigate one of Rasputin's closest held secrets. So that marks all the six steps that we currently are aware of for the Fell Winter's Lie quest. Now alongside this, we also get a new law book called The Liar. This has 13 entries trees and this unlocks once we actually unlock the weapon itself you gather these by getting kills with the fell winter's lie so there we have it guys that is everything we know about the fell winter's lie quest as it stands as soon as we find out more and discover the next steps i'll be sure to release a part two for this video now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you are new around here i want to keep up to date with all the latest sd2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.